Can it be done? Yes. Does it take time? Yes, it does. And we've often found to bring someone's body back intact from overseas or for us to send someone the other way overseas uh, can often be a two to three week process. Frequently, since we opened Northview, uh, we, we've been dealing a lot of, with a lot of new and yet growing ethnic communities uh, in London, and uh, frequently we're being asked to repatriate uh, a person's body to their home, which could be in, in Europe or Africa or, or Asia or whatever, wherever the case may be. Uh, can we do it? Yes, we absolutely can. Uh, it is a fairly arduous process and one that does not happen quickly. Uh, usually, when we're repatriating uh, someone's body, uh, well, it all depends on the, the country to which we're, we're to send them, but they're, they're similar in that uh, it requires extensive documentation. Uh, usually, the packaging for that person's body, their casket, uh, is uh, it's, it requires additional packaging as well and therefore costs and the airlines will charge uh, a premium fee for most of them uh, for transferring uh, human remains in the cargo hold of the aircraft uh, but uh, can it be done yes does it take time yes it does and we've often found to bring someone's body back intact from overseas or for us to send someone the other way overseas uh, can often be a two to three week process. So uh, as long as families are prepared for that and understand that there, there's a lot of regulation and red tape that we have to go through, uh, we can't just go to Toronto and put someone on an aircraft and send them home. It doesn't work that way. It involves uh, a lot of regulatory measures, a lot of regulatory hurdles uh, that we have to cover before, before we can go to the airport.